And we're back in the game with some more Medieval 2, Total War, Call of Warhammer mod. Actually, Call of Warhammer, beginning of the end times. We are playing as Britonia, and we're trying to avoid the end times. Except, we're trying to bring the end times to the Skaven. That'll be our gift to them. Let's scroll back up. Uh, check the sound. Speech volume. Yep. So, last episode, we had our first battle against the Skaven, and we beat them quite convincingly. So that's good. I'm hoping the Vampirates will call them, move out of the way. We can just get down here. There are a lot of uh, Skaven armies out there, but now that we're taking the offense to them, hopefully uh, the Vampirates can wear them down, and the Ezrai can wear them down, and the Dwarves can wear them down, and uh, the Dogs of War. Right, I don't think there's actually much to do because I'm fairly confident we're at an end turn. We still have our king up here, don't we? In this fleet. Yeah, there he is. Along with a spy. I'm just going to hit the end turn. We're now over 20,000 in corruption. Which ain't good. No, that spy always gets kicked out of Dravea. We might have to take it. Because there's nobody in it at the moment. And we do need a number of regions for victory. I think 50, don't we? Right. Well, we're at all of them, so it's probably understandable. Sounds a little French. Sounds a little French. Oh, it got even worse. What a surprise. Okay, they did pull back, or well, partially. Right, put you down to there. Ready and able. With honor. Well, if you say it's with honor, I'll believe you. Ready and able. That's a good amount of armies, and I didn't turn the time on. But it's on now. We also have a big old group of generals somewhere. Where are they? There. Okay, let's bring you down to there. Build you a new army. Of cavalry and archers. And trebuchets. Isn't that a full army? Yeah. Let's move them out. I oh, forgot about him. Right, need some infantry. Plus any archers. Right, anyone else? Come on down. A lot of armies out there, but not doing too much. Right, didn't we have some heretics? Yeah. Oh, we'll get him. We'll get that blasphemer. Let's see if we recruited anyone interesting. Not really. 
And that's 6900, that's a big premium. Actually, I'm going to take him out. Ninety-nine. Okay, the cavalry full plate armor. That doesn't give us more units; just gives us more experience on our units. Ninety-nine hundred. More is it even worth it? Because it's only going to be on those units. We need to upgrade the stables as well. I think that would be better. Okay, Aquitaine, we do need to upgrade that stable. Anything economic? Nope. Ooh, 2000. Uh, I think that's going to be worth trying to reduce it. Yeah, 700 there. Those are all economic. Right, now we have a few, a few spies moved, don't we? We've been able to get them in to there. Well, we finally did. Right. We're going to send you. Yeah, dogs of war are finally doing something. Good. Uh, there were two more spies. Right. Got to remember where they are. And we've got a diplomat up there. Probably just leave him. And we can move that spy as well. He doesn't need to stay there. Yep, go along with minor factions. Doesn't only really hang on them. Right, so that's the one I didn't move. Yeah. The other one was there. Scouting left the rear. Softly, Sierra. Slipping in unseen. Right, something happened up there. Okay. Ready to take. No. Why did we bother leaving Ulfgon? Let's get in there. That'll take three turns, but we can pull them there easily. His love and two kings for some odd reason. Why would they even be at war with each other? Well, how would they even be at war with each other? I don't understand that one. How, where, why, and when? Oui, 
Ooh, which one of these generals are we going to take? We'll probably put two in, just in case one gets killed. Is anyone with terrible loyalty? Four is the lowest I've seen. Right. Put those two in. You do that, mate. Let's give you at least one trip, We'll need a lot more units. Do we get any special cavalry up there? Not yet. Trying to get us into another battle as quickly as possible. Well, again, they moved out of the way, which was convenient for us. Hmm, probably nothing important up there. Ah, uh, last heretic. Got him. Important there. Not really. Okay. Now, oh, seriously, is he going to withdraw? No. But can they get past now? No. Nope. He's not going to face all of them, is he? You know what? We've got two trebuchets. Oh, seriously? I'm not going to auto-resolve that. I'm going to fight it. Now, can anyone figure out why there was a 50-50 auto-resolve there? which would probably have gone against us. It's because the model that they're using for the neck effects is an elephant. It should only be one set of walls, right? I don't think there would actually be any good putting the stakes down, but we'll do it in any case. Oh, there's already a breach. Can we find them? There's several breaches that they haven't repaired. Where is their unit? Somewhere behind this gate. There they are. Now they do look cool. Look at that. That's a kind of a shipwreck that's been moulded into a, an automaton. There is actually a little guy riding on the back of that one. Let me slow it down again, right? We'll take a quick look at him. First, I'm going to set you to firing. Yeah. That looked pretty cool. Yeah, it's like the prow of the ship, and there's the mast. Yeah. 
Well, I wonder if we use flaming arrows with the sim on fire, although they've probably been sitting at the bottom of the sea for a while. Right, bring you up as well. And we get in here. So lots and lots of paths in to the settlement. Let's speed it all up. Boom. Now getting some shots in. You might get lucky and hit them. It's kind of like playing cricket, isn't it? For those of you who have played cricket, you know what it is. Oh, it looks like we're actually knocking the walls down first. Can we get you into a better position? And that one looks like you should be able to hit him in any case. Oh, again, blasted close to hitting him. Oh, did we hit him? No, he's firing at us. They actually have a little can, I think, somewhere on them. Like at the very proud, like where, or underneath. Yes, master. Oh, we got him. We got him. That was a fine shot, trebuchet crew. We lost 20 or 30 men from there. Well, let's see if we can set them on fire. Something's burning. Is it one of the buildings? Yes, it's this one. Ooh, knock some big holes in there. Come on, let's get another shot in on him. Can we get you through that breach? Let's speed it up. He's not being set on fire, is he? Oh, come on, tell me we didn't. We got him. Oh, that's going to be a lot of friendly fire. Pull back. Ooh, pull back as well. Did I tell you to pull back? Nope. Also put a hole in that roof there. Run, run back. We are destroying a lot of buildings. He's going to come forward and kick my horses. Oh, we got him. We got him. We lost 207 men. I guarantee we'd have lost 90% of our army. We'd already resolved it. And then I would have been a cursing. Not a cursed, just cursing. We are triumphant. Yay. Right, we're gonna kill a lot of population. There's a lot of damaged buildings there. Put you in there. No further now, senior. Any buildings that we need to destroy? We've got a cannon foundry, which we can't use. Can we? No, I can't use that. We can use the brothel. Hmm. 
Uh, I guess we're getting a use out of that. Right, definitely take that, General Eight. Ready and able. Yeah, you're not doing much for us in there. Military, military. Health. Cancel. Upgrade the stables. And boost the taxes. Merchant spy. Hmm, as well. Let's see. Will he get out of the way? Deal with what? Two, three, four, five, six Skaven armies there. Well, if they all consolidate, it's going to be a real slog, isn't it? Right, we need seven more regions. But we just need to knock out the Skaven. Really? Yeah, that pushed it up even more. Alright, they're all on the ship, so we can now bring our king down, King Lewin. So we were having a thunderstorm a few minutes ago, but it was a very short one. Now it's gone all hot and humid and muggy. Oh, just what we need. Right, sail away. Midland isn't happy with us. Let's ready and able. With honor, we can go no further today. More war. We melting army. Senior. Oh yeah, we're gonna be merging them. Morwa, as you wish. Joining forces, Seigneur. Morwa. We merging armies. Let's get the cavalry from back there. Hmm. Maxing out all the infantry there. We could capture this one if we wanted as well. Got a good population. Send the spy down there. Got some rebels. Merchant. It's worth a hundred. It's worth seventy. Thirty-six. Right, pop him out again. Oh, there's the thunder. Hmm, he's actually more use outside, isn't he? Ah, Skaven have come for us. The Skaven have come forth from their burrows. You do that. Put some dwarves in there. Right. Any other spies? Nope. You got kicked out. Ah, oh, Quran, we did get an elite unit. That's all the way up there. 
Can we recruit any more? Well, not for a while. And that's where we've got the new general. Ooh, they don't like that. Okay, we'll take them. We'll see how able you are. Love the Borg. You're getting a discount. Okay, you sit there. Right. Ready and able. For the honor of France, no, you're just going to come in on your own, are you? Oui. Ah. No, I was trying to target oui. him. We shall so that would bring in three of our armies, and that would bring in two, three, four of theirs. Boy, with that lag, so they would have 12, 12, 9, close to 13,000, and we would have 15, well that would be 15, 18 and a half, 18 and a half thousand men, yeah, that's a big battle. But we would get rid of most of those, and could perhaps lay siege to scale by they're mostly trash units. We have an army out there and another one coming. Looks like they're prioritizing that direction. Hopefully giving our allies a chance to push against them. Right. But I think we'll do that one at the start of the next episode. Yep, it's gonna be a massive battle and take up the whole episode. Might even take up close to an hour if it doesn't crash. <laughs>